It's your boy Jackie Dummings and check it out, man. Because a 13 year old, no lacking, cutthroat baby savage out of Memphis. His name is in check it out. This is a mouthful. It's CBG Baby Big Boss CEO. Now, he's actually secured a record deal with the independent record label. Now, the label and the person he signed into is none other than the Chirac Demon. Fredo Santana, and of course, what record label could keep down a nigglet like this and hold up a savage like this? It's Savage Squad Records. I can't make this up, okay? Now, Fredo Santana announced this early this morning on his Instagram and Twitter when he said, newest member of Savage Squad Records, little, blo little bro, CBG Baby Big Bo CEO. Now, he also said, me and my son, CEO Bud Gang, plotting on them M's, hashtag Savage Squad Records, now, he reacted by saying the ops always mad to say baby CEO ain't blowing shit until I come through blasting like the heat. I ain't doing shit. Well, goddamn, okay, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. He got some other, other fucking um, kill scripts. I don't know. Anyway, check it out because do I think this is a good idea? Now, it, will it be something that could get him and the people around him some money? Probably a handler, too, who's probably saying, encouraging them and saying, yo, do this shit. Yeah, he's going to get some money. I think he'll make him some money. Now, do I think this will be something that works in the long term? I'm not sure. Savage Squad Records hasn't shown us to be itself competent and capable and fully equipped to be a legitimate independent record label. I mean, it's kind of new, but we haven't seen the proof in the pudding yet. I mean, they haven't shown us that they have the ability to manage artists' career or even put out records consistently. Shit, the boss of the goddamn label is lacking on his mixtape. Now, even with a independent record label, there's shit you gotta do and shit you gotta handle, right? You gotta handle your operation effectively, which is establishing relationships with promoters, distributors, DJs, even blogs. You gotta make sure your artists' projects and music are well promoted and still serviced in a fashion that gives them the best way to win. That's how you keep a happy artist. That's how you keep money coming in. Now, will Savage Squad Records do that? To keep it real, check out the name, Savage Squad Records. Huh, come, come on now. Now, listen, I'm not sure if they'll do that, okay? However, this kid, he's definitely set up for a life of coonery. Now, he's definitely with the right demons, no parental structure within the household, and it's only a matter of time before he's in shootouts and he's catching bodies and he's doing a nine. Listen, man, I know some of you guys want to say, no, he's a kid. Don't even say that. Listen, believe me, the ship for this kid has already left the goddamn port. Believe me. I know you love saying he's only a child, but this kid has already made his mind up, and the people around him are co-signing him because they're in the videos and in the goddamn pictures holding up guns with them. So experience will be the teacher for this little nigglet, and you just got to stay out of his way or you will end up becoming a pack. So what do you guys think about this move? Do you think it's actually enabling him to go down a destructive path in life, or this is just what he wanted and he finally got his wish? Listen, I know he's like 13, but this kid, you can hear by his lyrics, you can tell by the guns, you can tell by the people with him, this is what he wants. So, hey, maybe you should just celebrate because, hey, everybody got a destiny in life, and this kid has found his. It's your boy, Academics. Get in the comment section. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. I'm out.